Hello, everybody. My name is Manin, and I'm a technical consultant here at Glidefest. Today, I'm going to demonstrate one of the newest features coming in with the Utah release, which is around Advanced Work Assignment, also known as AWA. If you are somebody like me who has implemented AWA in the past, you will know that it has a lot of chunks that you need to configure in order for a successful implementation and it is really easy to miss out on those. Service now have came up with a new feature with the Utah release called the AWA Admin Experience, which makes it easier for you to implement and maintain AWA. Once you have the Advanced Work Assignment plugin installed, you can find the AWA Admin Experience under Advanced Work Assignment, Home. Here, if you do not have any popular plugins installed, you will have an option to install those or get those. For example, I have installed the Agent Chat plugin right now, which allows me to use AWA with chat with virtual agent or live agent. Down below are what they call essential settings. So these are basically the three steps you will need to complete for AWA to work. Step number one is to create service channels. You can simply click on the setup service channels, which takes you to the service channel table. Here, you can use an out of the box service channel, that or case because I have CSM installed, or you can create a new service channel for your own use case. Second step would be to configure a work item queue. Out of the box, because I have CSM installed, I have customer service and consumer service. You can create your own. It could be IDTR1, IDTR2, network support, stuff like that. And lastly, or you have to create assignment rules. Assignment rules determines where to route uh, the work items that generate with AWA. Because I have agent chat installed, I do have chat assignment rule within the assignment rule table you can create your own rule based upon your business case. Once you have these three steps completed, you also get an option to configure some additional settings. You can customize present states for agent. These are basically the states that the agent can be in. For example, they can be available, away or offline. You also have an option to configure reasons for rejection. So if your agent rejects a certain work item, they can specify or they have to specify a reason why they are rejecting. For example, they can specify it is not within their expertise, or they are busy at the moment, et cetera, et cetera. You can also configure agent capacity, how many work items is an agent able to receive at a certain given day, as well as define assignment groups. On the right-hand side, you have a guided video or instructor based video that takes you through the AWA implementation. It's really great that they have it embedded here so that you don't have to keep looking for it on YouTube or community. You also have a bunch of helpful resources in terms of AWA. For example, you can access the release notes, uh, AWA documentation, community forums. You get a step-by-step -step checklist on the Austin FAQ and deployment guide. You can easily see what AWA related plugins you have installed right now. So again, I have agent chat and CSM installed, but then you also get available plugins that you can install which support AWA. So HR can use it, ITSM of course, workup experience. So again, this was just an overview on how the AWA admin experience would make it easier for us to implement AWA moving forward. And I think it's a really great setup that ServiceNow has. And I hope you get to take the most out of it. Thank you so much for watching.